Windrowed crop is gathered by the low profile pickup and centered to the width of the bale chamber using upper and lower rotating augers. A full length upper auger is used on cutter models to bring crop in below the center line of the rotary cutter for improved crop flow. As crop enters the rotary cutter, it is sliced into consistent lengths by a rotating drum, feeding crop over a set of stationary spring-loaded knives. Once cut, the oscillating packer fingers feed the crop evenly into both sides of the pre-compression chamber, forming the crop into a square flake with equal size and density. When the proper flake density is reached, the pressure-sensitive door in the bottom of the chamber trips a cam mechanism on the stuffer clutch, starting the stuffer cycle. This engages the stuffer forks into the pre-compression chamber. Simultaneously, the holding fingers that prevent the flake from entering the bale chamber prematurely are withdrawn. The stuffer continues and with a single stroke moves the flake up and into the bale chamber while the plunger is moving rearward. As the stuffer pushes the entire flake into the bale chamber, the plunger sweeps it off the stuffer forks. Flakes are then assembled in the bale chamber as the plunger moves back and forth, applying force to the front side of the bale. This force is measured by dual load cells inside the plunger arms. If the force is higher or lower than the preset load factor, then an electrohydraulic valve will automatically adjust to the hydraulic pressure in the density cylinders to provide more or less tension on the bale. When the full bale size is reached, a trip arm engages the double knotter tying system, bringing the needles up through the plunger and into the knotter assembly. The first knot ties off the finished bale, followed by the second knot, which connects the upper and lower twine to start the next bale. Once the bale has cleared the bale chamber, it will slide down the bale chute and fall directly onto the ground, completing the bale cycle.